welcome to Reaching Out. I'm your host, Kim Carey, and today my guests are Michael and Nicole Sebastian from Ekenkar. Welcome to Reaching Out. Hey, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for very having much. us. All right. Well, we're going to start with you, Michael. Okay. Tell us, what is Ekenkar? The purpose or goal of Ekenkar really is to uh, make God an everyday reality in our life. And Ekenkar teaches that the knowledge is already within us and it teaches us how to access that divine database through spiritual exercises. What type of exercises? We'll give you an exercise as a matter of fact really? and this is one that we do daily and it's called the HU, mm -hmm. H-U and it's uh, simply a contemplation. Some people would call it a prayer or a meditation and it goes like this. Hu and would invite you to, so you can feel it, mm, that's I, it. I felt that. The hue along, just, <laughs> you take a breath, and then on the out breath, you hue, and we mm. hue, we hue for 20 minutes daily. That's a spiritual exercise. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. How did you um, connect with Ekenbar, Ekenkar? I'd been, I'd been looking for something different, the truth, why we're here, what's my spiritual mission, life after death, what goes on, what is God? like a lot of people. And um, I'd studied, I grew up Catholic, um, studied with the Christians, the Buddhists, the Sikhs. And um, one day, while standing in a bookstore, a book dropped off, no one was, was around, it literally dropped off the shelf. Mm -hmm. And when I picked it up to put it back, it had the word Ekinkar on it. And I started reading, mm -hmm. and I, it said past lives, dreams, soul travel, reincarnation. I said, this is what I've been looking for. I knew in that moment that Ekinkar was my next spiritual path. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Well, Nicole, how are you? Oh, very well, thank you. Very good. Tell us how you connected with Ekinkar. For me, it happened in a dream. And, um, you know, I read, someone handed me a book, and I didn't realize it was an Ekinkar book, per se, but, um, I like to read before bedtime, something spiritual, something uplifting. Mm -hmm. And um, I read a paragraph out of this book and put the book down, went to sleep, and had a dream, a dream that absolutely changed my life. And it took me one year to recover from this dream. Really? In the dream, when I woke up, the tears were flowing and kept flowing for two hours. And the dream was so compelling. In the dream, I was on the mountain top with God mm -hmm. receiving a sermon. And the things that were shared with me, to me, from what I thought was God, but now at this time I know it was a spiritual master. Yes. Um, the things that were revealed and shared, all of my questions were answered. Things that you think you can't know in this life mm -hmm. until you die. Mm -hmm. All my questions were answered and um, and my entire belief system of how I had grown up was really, it's like they pulled the rug out, mm -hmm. what was revealed, um, the truth of how the world is run and the mechanics of the universe. And um, so it took me a year to recover from, from that dream. And there's no one I could talk to about the dream. I, it was between me and God, me and spirit, in terms of validating and confirming what I thought to be true and came to know mm -hmm. to be the truth. And in that year of serious soul searching, oh my, the only thing that kept me going about every 30 minutes I would say to God, show me truth. Okay. And every 30 minutes I was given a sign and that went on for an entire year. Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's incredible. So would you say that that is Ekenkar's mission? To reveal the truth, yes. Mm -hmm. To know, to experience God within. Mm -hmm. To have your own personal experiences with God, with Holy Spirit, if you will. Um, and to know without reading it in a book per se or without because someone shared that with you, you have your own knowingness. Mm -hmm. And Ekenkar is real big into knowingness through your own personal experience mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and coming to that point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Michael, share with us uh, some additional beliefs of Ekenkar that part of the belief system of Ekenkar is that soul is eternal and that soul exists because God loves it mm. and that we unfold as soul spiritually 
through karma and reincarnation. In other words, it's part of the belief system of Ekankar that we're born in successive lives until we balance out our karmic account. Mm. Additionally, Ekankar uses the teaching tools of dreams and soul travel. Mm -hmm. In other words, we sleep every night, everyone dreams, and that if we pay attention to our dreams, we get a snapshot of where we're headed and it answers all of our questions. Mm. So do you believe once we um, tap out in this existence, we transition? Correct. We okay. call it, yeah, and, and we call it translating. We oh. really translate or we transition mm -hmm. as energy form or soul, and then we come back again if we have more lessons to learn. Once we've learned our lessons here, and this is a training ground, a school, once we have learned our lessons, we move on to high school mm -hmm. and then to college and we graduate into postgraduate work. So In the spirit. <laughs> correct. Wow. Exactly. That is, that is incredible. So tell us about um, Ekankar in terms of membership. What does it entail? Membership in Ekankar entails a yearly cycle. When we join Ekankar, it costs, for an individual, a new member, it costs $60 or $5 a month. As a donation. As a donation, okay. and it's, it's a recommended donation. There is no cost per se. For that, we get Discourses, which is a book, and it has 12 chapters in it, and we study one chapter a month for 12 months. Mm -hmm. We can do it individually, at home, not part of the organization, or we can do it in a group, a mm -hmm. study group. So it's pretty simple, actually. Additionally, we do spiritual exercises daily for 20 minutes. Some people would call it prayer. Some would call it meditation. We call it contemplation. It's a little more active than meditation. Meditation is clearing my mind, sitting silently and waiting. Mm -hmm. Contemplation is I visualize inwardly, maybe going with a spiritual master, maybe sitting in a place of serenity at the beach or in the mountains or someplace I feel really harmonious and serene. Maybe it's at, at my house. Mm -hmm. So, Nicole, I or someone else could utilize the principles of Ekankar without actually being a member. Oh, absolutely. As a matter of fact, you know, I didn't join for um, an entire year and instead read the books, attended a book discussion or a class, and everything's free in Ekankar. Whether you're a member, if you're a non-member, everything's free. And if you're a member, again, you can do the donation, you know, the suggested donation. But um, there's books and, and classes and workshops and things. So um, there's a lot of freedom there. You can, you can explore, you can take a class, you can test the waters, you can join, you can not join. Uh, a lot of freedom. Okay. Well, yeah. I noticed you both have uh, beautiful uh, Ekankar pendants mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. Yours <laughs> has a little bit more bling to it. <laughs> I don't know if you've told us how long you've been uh, associated. Ekankar. Yes. Yeah, I've been a member for 18 years, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and with Michael, what he was saying about the uh, the study, uh, the study, the one-year study, there's 17 years of study in mm -hmm. Ekankar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How has it changed your life? Oh, my gosh, in every way possible. Give us a few examples. Self-reliance, self-responsibility, self-confidence, <clears throat> knowingness pure knowingness about things, like I said, that you don't think you can know in this life, I have received those answers through direct knowingness, and that, that's priceless. Mm -hmm. It really mm -hmm. is. And for me, it's been, it's been love. It's all about love. Ekankar has taught me how to give and how to receive love. Mm -hmm. And I had much before I stepped on the path of Ekankar, but it really opened my heart to love and to be aware of other individuals and to be of service to them in some way, to my community, to my family, to serve all life, mm -hmm. really. So that's what I picked up through Ekankar. So where are you located and what are your hours of operation? We are in, in Michigan, we're in Royal Oak, at the Royal Oak Ekankar Center. We have a center there. It's Main and Fourth. Right, mm -hmm. Main and Fourth. And the, we have worship services once a month on Sunday from 12 to 1 p.m., mm -hmm. the first Sunday of the month. We also, every Monday, we have a community hue chant. It's open to the public, it's free, and it goes from 7 p.m. to 7.30 mm -hmm. every Monday. Okay. Uh, there's addition, additionally, there's classes 
book discussions on dreams, on soul travel, on have you had a spiritual experience, if you'd like to go there to talk to someone because you've had a spiritual experience of some sort, you can call the Ekinkar Center and uh, meet someone down there or you can contact us directly and we'll point you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you and your wife are the two uh, the point people the go people. for. Yeah, the go-to people for, for Michigan. Okay. So. Okay. Very mm -hmm. good. Now you spoke about uh, an exercise. Is that something you wanted to do with me or just? The hue, yeah. The hue? We'd, like, we'd like to do the hue. Yeah, so. Well, let's do the hue. <laughs> and to do the hue, all you do is you get relaxed, you close your eyes, and you take a deep breath, and then on the out breath, you chant the word hue, like the name hue. 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 I felt that that is calming. That is calming. That is it very calming. Uh, the word hue is an ancient sacred name for God found in many of the world religions. Hmm. In terms of um, Catholic Catholicism, Christianity, before the Bible was written in English, it was in Hebrew, mm -hmm. and the word hue is throughout the Hebrew version of the Bible. We also found it in the Kabbalah and the Quran, and the Sufis and the Sikhs and the Freemasons and the Druids, My. and uh, Buddhism and Islam. And uh, certainly Ekinkar uses that uh, present day for a spiritual exercise. Uh, 20 minutes a day, silently or out loud, sitting, standing, laying, just in a comfortable position. Mm -hmm. But the word hue, my favorite, oh, it's also in the Oxford English Dictionary. Okay. The word hue is where the word human comes from. Mm. Human, God yes. within man, because yes. we all have that spark. We are spiritual beings. Yes. And it's good for stress, anxiety, insomnia. It will stop nightmares, mm. depression, anxiety, uh, suicidal thoughts or behavior. If yes. you just hue for a minute, you can feel the change, the resonance within the vibration changes. I did feel the vibration. Yeah. Michael, how does Ekankar differ from Scientology? A, wor a world of difference. A world of difference, okay. But I won't talk about Scientology. They've pulled a lot of heat lately in the media and everyone's kind of familiar with what Scientology is or is not now. Okay. Um, Ekinkar really focuses on love and... And service. And service. Okay. And to... Being a co-worker with be God. Be a co-worker with God to somehow help our, our fellow mm -hmm. people on the planet and to open our hearts to love. And when we do that, automatically, we help to uplift humanity. And that's Ekin Carr's goal. Wonderful. A lot of freedom. Yes, Wonderful. freedom. And I'm so excited to tell you about an upcoming regional seminar. Ekin Carr is hosting May 18th, which is a Saturday. It's an all-day affair. It is free and open to the public. It'll be hosted at the Met Hotel, M-E-T, Met Hotel. And it's located off of I-75 and Crooks Boulevard, the north exit. If you hang a right and go one block, you'll run into the Met Hotel. And it's going to be from 10 to 7, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Again, it's free and open to the public. There'll be seminars, workshops, roundtables, books, and things of this nature. So feel free to join us. Come on and check it out. And um, you can stay for the entire event or just uh, stay for an hour, whatever, whatever you like. But uh, join us if you're able. Thank you. Well, I've certainly enjoyed you both and uh, learning about Ekankar and my Hugh experience. <laughs> and I thank you both for joining us here thank you for having us. on Reaching Out. That'll do it for us here at Reaching Out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. <laughs>